Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. This is super massive speed changes in Adobe Premiere Pro. So you've always been able to change the speed of video in Premiere Pro, but in 2019, Adobe released a new version that increased the ability from 1,000% to 20,000%. Um, and you can just make videos speed up. So I had this video planned in 2019, um, but a bug emerged and I decided uh, two years later that I've waited long enough. So I'll show you how you can work around it. And uh, it's on the list to be fixed in the future, but it, it still is very powerful. I'm going to show you with individual clips and then a nest and, and show you why it's more powerful when you're doing this with a nest. There's also different blending modes and how the frames are blended together because as you're starting to increase the speed, uh, Premiere Pro has to calculate how the pixels are merging together from, from things that, that um, uh, obscure another frame. And you've got three cho choices, typically with any speed changes. Optical uh, flow, I've got a whole tutorial I'll link to at the end. Optical flow is a possibility. Um, I, I found problems trying to use optical flow and uh, well, let's just explore them. I thought I would use my dash cam recording because this is very long. This is a single uh, stream, although it's captured in chunks. It's a single stream of me driving to Toronto, woohoo, so exciting, uh, a lot of fun. Okay, so right now they're all at um, 100%. If you select all of them and right click and go to speed duration, you can change them. Not sure why that's opening way over there, but there they are. So the duration is not showing because we have multiple clips, but the speed is changing. Below that, you can reverse the speed. So you can keep things at 100% and just reverse, reverse them. You can maintain the audio pitch. This is when you want something fast and the audio doesn't sound like it's, it's speeding up like a chipmunk or slowing down. You can also ripple edit shift trailing clips. So that's what's gonna happen here. Each one of these is going to get shorter because I'm gonna make it faster and they'll all move to the left. And here's the three different interpolation modes, frame sampling, frame blending, and optical flow. So we'll have a look at, uh, at that. I'm just gonna leave it at uh, frame sampling. Frame sampling just, just basically um, adds full frames, it copies frames, which when you're slowing things down just looks jerky, but when you're speeding things up, doesn't, doesn't uh, seem to be that bad. Doesn't add any motion blur, um, but it it uh, it doesn't it, it plays back okay. So watch what happens. Let's change this to twenty thousand percent, and you can see even though I put in twenty thousand, it jumps to ten thousand. Not sure why. Click OK. And it didn't do a thing. Let's try that again. I'm gonna get around the bug by unlinking this, changing this to 5,000, and then linking this back up and clicking OK. And now when I go back, so I'm hitting the, the uh, backslash key to get to this. So now they're all sped up. Okay. So let me undo that, go back, and I've got these in another sequence. So they're nested together. So if you want, you could just select everything, right click and nest. And that does the same thing here. It's just a little easier to change that duration here. I'm not going to ripple uh, edit, but I'm gonna change this. I'm gonna, if I'll show you what happens when I try to type in two it, it sets it to the lowest number, which is three. And that's because Premiere Pro tries to auto-correct for the number you entered and two uh, instead of 2000. So two makes it longer than 24 hours. 
So Premiere Pro corrects it to the right value. So again, to get around that, deselect that, 10,000, then relink this, then click OK. Now we've got that sped up. And I think I set this to, I wanted to show you with frame sampling first. So I think that's pretty good for uh, super speed. No problem there. That's, I only got up to 10,000%. I was never able to get it to 20,000%. And frame blending, you can see that here, it's blending, it's actually making new pixels from other clips. And if you stop it, you'll see those artifacts, but if you just let it play, go back to the beginning, it gives it a bit of a motion blur effect. So you can see that right there, motion blur. Let's see if we can find that. There we go. About the same place. And you can see the difference there. That's with frame blending. That looks pretty good blurring there and not so much there. So depending on, on you know, if you want that kind of an energy. Now I did try to do some tests with optical flow in Premiere Pro and it, well, let me just show you what happens. Let's let's go find something where there's uh, maybe an overpass, something where things obscure like that. And I'll change this to optical flow. Now you won't see any change. So, I have to hit an in point and an out point, and I have to render that because optical flow cannot show unless you render it. And even with that, it's still not showing. And this is what I was finding. It was, uh, it's not working. And optical flow is supposed to really go to work with motion vectors. So that's the the um, direction of the pixels and it's supposed to create smooth blends. Again, whenever there's occlusion, occlusion means one thing is moving in front of another. The, the uh, computer needs to calculate which one, how it blends and with optical flow in, in Premiere Pro anyway, that can be a real problem. So. I did try taking this into After Effects and using Pixel Motion Blur, and whoo, it took forever to calculate that with this kind of a speed. And I didn't really get the best results in any of these uh, programs. I mean, if you just want to do super fast uh, speed, great, turn it up, and, and uh, it's great. You might find results uh, up to 20,000. I could only get to 10,000. Uh, Twix store, if you're, I'll put a link in the description. The best interpolation optical flow kind of technology out there is Twix store. Um, it's uh, a third party plugin that you can buy and it does much better optical flow blending of this stuff. Takes forever to calculate, but the results look pretty good. So there you go. Two years later, I couldn't wait any longer. I just wanted to show you that there is this update in here and the little workaround. So unlink the, the speed and duration, put in your um, percentage and then relink it and click OK. And you get some good results. If you're new to video revealed and you found this informative because you won't find things like this in the manual, then please take a moment and subscribe. You want to support us some more? You can do that on videorevealed.com slash shop and donate once or monthly, any amount. There's a bunch of free stuff and stuff you can buy. Become a member and there's even more things you can download. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my, my job typically to bite my tongue, but for this one, I couldn't wait any longer because I think you can still find a useful way to use these speed changes today.